Welcome back. My next guest is a Howard University alum and nationally recognized financial aid expert. She's also the president of the College Girl Foundation and author of the book, How to Pay for College When You're Broke, nicknamed the financial aid fairy godmother. Jessica Brown knows the ins and outs of finding money for college. And she joins us now from her home in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much for joining us. Jessica, listen, when you wrote your book, that was before the pandemic. And as we know, the new normal is defined in so many ways. How is this crisis affecting students who are seeking financial aid options? Well, right now, people all across the world are losing jobs, and the unemployment rate in America is absolutely skyrocketing. And unfortunately, universities have lost so much revenue with them not being open this spring semester and as well as sporting events. So right now, it is going to be important for these families to reach out to the financial aid office and complete an award adjustment request form or a special circumstance form and provide all their documents to show if they've lost their job or if there was a significant loss of income to see if the financial aid office can potentially make an amendment to their financial aid award package. Wow. Okay, so I know you tell students one of the best things they can do is build a strong relationship with their financial aid department. I'm a graduate of Temple University. I'm honored to be on the board of trustees of the university as well. But my best friends truly in the beginning in 19, whatever year that was, were the people in the financial aid department. I got to know everyone and it made a big difference. Obviously now you're not gonna be able to go into the office and talk to a counselor much of this is done virtually or over the phone. Yes, it is so important to build relationships. Why? Because relationships are key in life. This is not just for college. This is also for your future. So it is so important for students to consistently remain in contact with their financial aid professionals at their institutions to check in and see if there's any additional scholarships available. I can personally attest to when I was working in financial aid at Howard University, and I I was able to build bonds and relationships with people to get them more funding. Wow. Uh, you know, speaking of the funding out there, I know that, uh, was it $3 billion worth of college financial aid went unused. That was in 2018 and 2019. Do you think that same, um, the equal amount of money potentially is out there for this year under this crisis? Yes, as much of that money comes from the FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. And with those funds, many students sometimes um, forget to fill out the financial aid form every year because it's annual. So you want to make sure that you're completing the FAFSA, you're finding these scholarships, and you're making sure that you continuously apply. Now, I know there are students who will not, will, will not qualify for financial aid because of the income of their parents, but you certainly know many of them will but still need money. There are scholarships in unexpected places. Give me some examples. So there is money everywhere. I mean, when I mean everywhere, everywhere. Um, for instance, even now, you I mean, I stress that like even now, there's money out there for these students. Yes, for sure. Because even when you go to your career services department, um, you can stop in and see what kind of scholarships will be available. If you're an engineering major, go into the engineering department, see what funds are available. Uh, lastly, you have so many companies out here that are giving funds to students for scholarships. Reach out to some of these companies that align with your personal and future endeavors to see if you can get some of that money. All right, Jessica, thank you so much. Jessica's book is called How to Pay for College When You're Broke.